this is the process shot. I'm uh, Michael. I'm stuck in a haunted movie theater, and I've seen Godzilla Raids Again, a monster horror action kind of movie from 1955, directed by Motoyoshi Oda. Obviously, it follows the original film, with Godzilla first appearing on an island locked in combat with an irradiated dinosaur, which scientists dub Anguirus. Those same authorities further realize that without the weaponry which had defeated him before, they are powerless to stop Godzilla and his inevitable rampage across Japan. As they try to figure out how to put an end to this resurrected terror, Godzilla and Anguirus, well, they fight, obviously. Actually, I would say that half of the movie is fighting between these two monsters. You might think that would make it fun, but half of the problem is that the rest of the movie focuses on the human characters of the story and their attempts to stop Godzilla and Anguirus. It's not so much that they're here in the movie at all, or that they take away from the rest of the fights, but it's more to do with what they do, and especially in comparison to the previous film. Where the first Godzilla movie had themes of nuclear warfare, mass destruction, post-war trauma, and several other allegories, Godzilla raids again barely even grazes those subjects. There are a few points here and there where environmental issues are raised, specifically how radiation proliferating from nuclear tests have irradiated the waters and led to the monster's growth, but they seem to be little more than just basic explanations for why Godzilla and Anguirus are doing whatever they're doing before moving back to the more general subject of destroying the monsters, as well as a pretty basic romantic storyline. It's all a step down from the heights that the first movie had reached, especially only coming a year after that, all of which makes this sequel feel like a cash-in or an imitation rather than an expansion of the original. There are no explicit scenes of the aftermath of destruction, nor do characters argue or lament over their own roles in the terror, if they even have any at all. In fact, the movie goes out of its way to ensure there are few or no civilian deaths, all but confirming that the point here is now to simply revel in the collapse of major cities. Then again, the problem with that line of thinking is that there are still a few issues in how these fight scenes are produced. I will say that it's more to do with the filmmakers getting their footing in how these scenes are being made, though there's still comparisons to be made with this film's predecessor. Godzilla's slow and lumbering drag through Tokyo is replaced by a relatively faster pacing, one which clearly shows that he and Anguirus are just two guys in monster costumes, all but foregoing any sense of their size and weight. The cinematography in these shots isn't very convincing either, with any sense of scale whittled down to just placing Godzilla next to miniatures and models. There are certainly a lot of these, though, some of which get large and intricate enough that their destruction does become fun enough to watch. The editing within these scenes flows pretty coherently through the mayhem, though it doesn't need to jump around too much in the first place anyways. Within the other scenes set among the human characters, though, Everything gets pretty bland outside of set construction and any subsequent destruction. Again, the actual story and writing doesn't really help in any of these scenes, which all but confirms that this movie was made in a rush to capitalize on the success of the original, ignoring the best ideas in favor of something much simpler.
Based on the number of other sequels, though, it's probably for the best to look at this more as a stepping stone towards those later films. Godzilla Raids Again, Moto Yoshi Oda, 1955. Eh, two stars. If you're a completionist, then I can't stop you from watching this movie, but otherwise I would suggest trying something else. That's it for this review. If you liked it, leave a like. If you have something to add, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. On one hand, it's nice to know that the franchise didn't end on a cash cow like this. On the other hand, I don't know if they ever tried to go back to having thematic substance. I haven't seen all the sequels, or any of them. <laughs>